morning. Well, so far, Bartlett police have not released a description of the suspects, but a mom with the trick or treaters got a look and says her kids were traumatized. Yeah. Shandria Mosby says, like most others, her son skipped trick or treating last year due to COVID. This year, they were excited to get dressed up and go door to door in the Bartlett neighborhood. All he talked about was being a vampire. And he was actually going up to the door saying trick or treat. But she says after just 30 minutes, they were forced to call it a night after someone drove by with a BB gun and opened fire. We just all heard the shots and sounded just like a real gun. She says her three-year-old son Tyler was hit in the side of his face. I didn't realize what was going on and he dropped his candy. He started screaming and crying. And her 11-year-old niece was struck in the face and chest by the pellets. My niece started saying, I've been hit, I've been hit. And that's when I turned around and I noticed something was going on. I picked him up and my niece and just ran to my husband's car. Monday, her boys were going through the candy they were able to collect on Halloween. Most people upset someone spoiled their night of fun and says it's terrifying because the teens with the gun were aiming at small children. I didn't even sleep good. I tossed and turned because I just kept saying, what if? What if it was a real gun? I would be waking up, my sister would be waking up, planning a funeral. Now, Mosby says that she saw, saw, saw three teens dressed in dark clothing and a dark green Corolla. She says they had a BB gun that looked like an assault rifle. If you have any information that can help BART, the police find them, you are urged to call Crime Stoppers. That number is 382-MONY. Live tonight in Bartlett, Melissa Moon, WREG. News Channel 3.